See, we're going to talk about how to live in a woman's head rent free. This is for all men who have been working on themselves and becoming more self-aware and gaining that self-confidence within themselves to be that man who truly stand on business and has masculine frame. See, when a woman thinks about a man, she thinks about her being put in different positions. She thinks about procreating with him. Every time a female thinks about a man that she truly wants, she's going to get those flashbacks. She's going to get soaked in her drawers. Trust me. If you're a man out there who truly has options and has been working on becoming your best self, you have had women double text you, triple text you, call you, just wondering what you're on. She wants to be a part of your experience as a man who knows who he is, as a man who goes through conquering life. But when you're a man who's not standing ten toes down on your morals and your beliefs and getting to the next level, how do you ever res expect her to respect you? How do you ever expect for her to respect you if you can't even respect yourself? If you know truly within yourself, like you cannot lie to yourself about this. If you know you're a man who hasn't been working on yourself, a man who hasn't been grinding, you probably don't even have your own car. You probably don't even get your own bread. How do you ever expect a woman to respect you? We just have to get that out the way, bro. The reason majority of these women are running around today making OS, tricking off on dudes is because these men are allowing it. Us as men, we used to be kings, barbarians, vikings, warriors. But now men are walking around trying to please this society. You see men all over on social media, cupcaking for women, pillow talking down on other men because they think that that's going to get them laid and in women's drawers. But the truth is, when you're a handsome man or you're a man blessed by the Lord, these women take your way or the highway. When you're a man who a woman knows stands on principle and every time she thinks about you, she just gets flashbacks. She can't help but to fall in line with what you want. When you pick her up and you're with, she already knows what she want to do with you. All you got to do is lead. But when you're the submissive one, how do you ever expect a woman not to fill that masculine role? See, you have to stop being a nice guy out here. There's a difference between being a nice guy and a good man. If you see my previous videos and you resonate with them, you know that a bunch of men in today's society are being taken for granted. So why not, instead of being a good or a bad man, be your best self? Becoming your best self is the first thing that you need to do before you think you can ever live rent free in a woman's head. The second thing you need to do, the truth is, you gotta lay down that pipe, bruh. Stop being one of the men who's just hiding in the bathroom, being their little Johnson. Get out, touch grass, breathe real oxygen, and go find a woman that is attracted to you. I'm not talking about cold approaching every woman, but when you know a woman is attracted to you, y'all make eye contact, or you know that you see a woman that you want that has interest in you, go after it, bruh. You ain't gotta be one of these people who just got on the VR headset just imagining getting a woman. Go out in real life and search for what you want. It's way much better getting between them sweet watery guts than doing it yourself. Because when you look in the mirror after doing it yourself, you feel like a straight you feel like a straight B. Because you know it feels way better to get out here, put a shorty in different positions, have her all up in your ear, feel the gush gush coming out all on you. That's what it's like to be a man. It gives you confidence when a woman truly submits to you. And trust me, when you hit that bottom, she's going to be struck on you, bruh. That's why it's dangerous to just lay pipe on any woman when you are a man who a female can't stand to be with. This is just some toxic advice. But when you're a man who hits that bottom, when you're a man who a woman knows has multiple options, she has nothing but to fall in line with your roster. You got to have your point guard, your shooting guard, small forward, your power forward, your center, and your six man and your bench. That's just how you got to be in this generation. I'm not saying you got to focus on chasing women, but you have to place these women in line with the way that you want your life to go. If these women are not searching to benefit your life, why not get them out your life? You might you might hear people say, oh, that's cool. You're just using women. But if I'm only one person, you ain't got to be with me. But if I'm a man who knows what I want, if I'm a man who knows where I'm going, you don't have to deal with the BS, RBL. Trust me, you have to become that man who when a woman thinks of you, she looks up to you as a leader, bruh. It don't matter how tall you is, it don't matter the bread. At the end of the day, a woman is going to go for who she is truly attracted to, who she truly feels like she can procreate with, and this child is going to come out and she's going to be in love with them. But if you're just one of these people pleasing, walking on eggshells ass man, she's never going to respect you, bruh. Another thing is, stop being a capital S. You know what that means, stop being a limp, bruh, stop. Like that, just stop, bruh. You out here looking at these women on social media, you following a bunch of women that you probably won't meet or you probably don't even know like that. That's just taking away from who you truly are as a man. When you are a fan, 
you are basically a fan to these women if you're just following them on social media they're not liking your post they're not commenting and you most likely not gonna link with them this just makes you look like a fan that's the other thing you cannot be a fan to nobody but yourself when you look at yourself in a mirror you have to look back and see a man you have to look back and see somebody that even you can't recognize you came this far in your life for a reason so why come this far just to let people bring you down no, you have to be that warrior inside because trust me, if a woman can look at you and feel protected or like you're going to provide something, she's going to walk all over. She's just going to use you or she's just going to throw you in a box with the rest of these bums or the rest of these men who she's dealt with. Bro. And trust me, first impression is always everything. bro. If you're faking it at the start, people can smell that on you. People can smell the beef in you. But when you're a man who has that body that he wants, tatted up how he wants to probably has the looks that he wants just a man who's self-confidence in himself nobody could take that away from you bro especially if you're a handsome man or you're chosen out there or you're blessed just with the way your life was set up nobody could take that away from you trust me all your exes or the people that done you wrong they behind the scenes watching you and if you think they're not get famous like drake or one of these people out there they're gonna spin back all these people that ever did you wrong don't think it wasn't for no reason trust me they watching you in my previous videos, I done said some people only deserve to be a spectator in your life or some people just deserve to be a follower or a viewer because they're not ready to be at the finish line with you. You know where your finish line is at, but not everybody deserves to be a part of your journey. So some people just got to watch from the outside. Leave these people alone who truly don't deserve to be in your life. Chasing after other people and seeking after validation outside of yourself is going to further bring you down, bro. Know what you want, bro. Dig until she butt, just like Steph said. Because you will always be in her mind, trust me. When you're a man who is confident, can't nobody take advantage of you, bro. Get to it, RBL. If you haven't been working on it yesterday, the time starts now.